Hello and welcome to Teju Ki Paatshala. My name is Tejaswini Uma Sudhir. Exams are around the corner and I thought I'd bring to you a computer revision series. So I'd be going through some of the more important concepts in the optional paper computer applications. Um so uh, today we are going to be discussing constructors and functions. Let me share my screen. so this chapter constructors and functions is quite an important chapter there are questions from the theory part which will come in part a today we are going to be looking at two programs uh, which are based on this particular chapter which comes in your section b each program carries about 15 marks and uh, as per uh, what i have seen in the past few years you'll at least get one question one program from this particular chapter in some cases even two so what we are actually talking about is 15 to 30 marks from this chapter constructors and functions um listen to this video very carefully um we are going to be actually writing the program with you we'll be running the program seeing if we are getting the output similar question will come in your paper so come do the program with me let's go to the first question um it's saying define a class name movie magic with the following description this is basically se dekh ke samajh mein aa ja raha hai ki okay fine isme data diya hua hai kya kya initialize karna hai constructor what are the functions you are supposed to use what is the output that is supposed to come everything is actually already given in the question all you need to do is write down the data in java uh we are going to be using uh, blue j um let's start off we are creating a new class let us call it movie magic so we have a class called movie Ma magic okay i hope you are familiar with using blue j um isko full screen kar dete hain aur let's start writing one practice i think you should be following while writing computer programs is always start with this import java.util.star this is the package from which scanner class is derived and um, scanner is generally used while we are taking inputs from the user and as we can see in this program they are asking us to there is a one, uh, one method in which you have to input and store the year title and rating so we will be using scanner class for which we need to be importing this particular package next we have to um, define a class name movie magic let's do that say public class movie magic open our curly brackets next up they are saying instance variables or data members these are the global variables int year string title and float rating we are supposed to initialize them right now int year string name int year string title float rating load rating kar diya what's next next they are saying member methods first one is movie magic default constructor to initialize the numeric data you know what is a constructor constructor is used to initialize the data they are asking you to use a default constructor so let us use a uh, constructor constructor has the same name as your class name movie magic we have opened the constructor year is equal to 0 title is equal to and rating is equal to 0 as well you are done with this constructor as well next up void accept to input and store year title and rating here they are asking you to use the scanner class so void accept scanner sc is equal to new scanner 
system dot in you're creating an object of the scanner class after that um system dot out dot print ln enter year of release of movie year of release of movie int year it is int so therefore um year is equal to sc dot next int that is the way of inputting a integer type data next system dot out dot print ln enter title of movie title is equal to sc dot next that is a way of inputting a string type data right then system dot out dot print ln enter rating of movie and rating is equal to sc dot next float right so we are done with this particular function void accept to input and store year title and rating we are done with that next we have to use the void display function to a message based on the rating as per the table given below basically what kya karna hai you have to take the input from the user of the year of release title of the movie and the rating from the user itself rating के बेसिस पे एक इफ एल सिर्फ कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है इन द वाइड डिस्प्ले फंक्शन अगर रेटिंग जीरो से टू के बीच में है सो इट्स अ फ्लॉप फोर पॉइंट सेवन है तो इट इज अपर हिट लाइक दैट वी नीड टू बी क्रिएटिंग एन इफ एल सिर्फ स्टेटमेंट सो वी गो टू आर नेक्स्ट फंक्शन वाइड डिस्प्ले एंड देन वी डू इफ रेटिंग इज जीरो टू टू के बीच में है तो इट इज अ फ्लॉप सो इफ रेटिंग इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो एंड रेटिंग इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू टू सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन फ्लॉप इफ here since there is only one statement under the if condition we don't need to be doing the curly brackets but if there are multiple statements you need to use a curly starting bracket and ending bracket if rating is greater than or equal to 2.1 and rating is less than or equal to kitna tha value 3.5 the 3.4 then it is a semi hit 3.4 then system dot out dot print ln semi hit i hope you are coding along with me so that you actually get practice 3.5 to 4.5 it is a hit what was the last movie you saw which were, which you think would have got a 3.5 to 4.5 rating print ln they are saying it was a hit right then super hit 4.6 to 5 is a super hit okay so you have if rating is greater than or equal to 4.5 and rating is less than or equal to kitna tha 5 4.6 to 5 i'm sorry 4.6 is an equal to 5.0 then system dot out dot print ln super hit right we are done with this function as well next 
how do you think all these functions will get called we need to be writing a method public static void main as you recall main is the first method to actually get executed public static void main we open the method now we need to create an object of the movie magic class an object is created so that we can call all other methods under this class so how do you create an object we created an object also while uh, creating a, a, a scanner class similarly movie magic obj object is equal to new movie magic right now we have to call the different obj dot accept was one method we used we call that first so that all the um inputs we get then we say obj dot display usko bhi bula liya humne that's it we are done with this method as well close the method close the class one see there are few things you need to always remember while you're writing programs one import java dot util dot star which you did right at the beginning two whatever bracket you're opening क्लास का ब्रैकेट ओपन कर रहे हो मेथड का ब्रैकेट ओपन कर रहे हो या फिर इफ एल्स इफ में ब्रैकेट ओपन कर रहे हो यू ऑलवेज नीड टू इंश्योर दैट यू हैव क्लोज इट थर्ड थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज योर सेमी कोलिन अफकोर्स व्हेन यू आर कंपाइलिंग द प्रोग्राम इन द कंपाइलर व्हेन यू यूजिंग ब्लू जे इट टेल यू दैट हेलो देख लो भाई यू हैव नॉट यू सेमी कोलन सिंटैक्स एर आ रहा है but when you're writing it in the examination hall no one's going to remind you and these are the small things in which you can actually lose marks apne teen char jagah pe you have not used semicolons they may actually cut a mark or two bina matlab ka so you need to ensure that you remember to use semicolons close brackets and import your classes according to um the import statements you have used so right now i'm compiling ye no syntax errors इसको मैंने क्लोज कर दिया और ब्लू जे में राइट क्लिक एंड वाइड मेन आई कॉल एंटर रिलीज ऑफ द मूवी इट से ठीक है मैंने बोल दिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंटर टाइटल ऑफ द मूवी विक्रम एंटर रेटिंग ऑफ द मूवी आई से फोर पॉइंट सेवन इट से इट्स अ सुपर हिट आउटपुट आ गया similar question you get in your examination hall it is very simple it is very easy to actually score a 15 on 15 we are done with our first program for the video our next one is going to be design a class to overload a function num calc as follows they have given you three methods all the methods have the same name but different parameter list different variables what is this concept this is a concept of overloading functions what is overloading functions aapne seekha hi hoga that overloading functions basically means that you have different methods all of them have the same name but different parameter list so how will you differentiate rohan from rohan the characteristics what the what is inside it will differentiate rohan from another rohan right similarly when you are from the main method calling these methods num calc with 5 and um c as the parameters will be different from num calc with teju and sudhir as the parameters parameter list is what differentiates one method from another method so we have to be writing a program to design this overloading uh, function class so let us start off yahan kahi pe bhi uh, they have not asked us to in input any values so we needn't write um, scanner class import java dot util dot star but i would actually say it's a good practice because um at um, every given point of time i mean uh, you don't lose anything you are not going to get a syntax error just because you have not used um um the scanner class anywhere in the uh, program so i'm just going to 
just stick with that right import.java.util.star .java everywhere and don't forget the semicolon then you have class overload maine open kar liya class ko theek hai na yahan pe they have not asked for any global variables no constructor first void num calc int num char ch so this is my first method i open my brackets what are they saying in the method with one integer argument and one character argument computes the square of the integer argument if uh, ch is s otherwise finds its square, uh, cube so if statement if ch is e equal to equal to single brackets uh, s system dot out dot print ln square is say kya square is and plus num into num else suppose character entered is not s system dot out dot print ln cube is plus num into num into num right we now go to our next function void num cal and it is int a int b and char ch int a comma int b this is called parameters i'm sure you know char ch you open your brackets kya diya hua hai as the conduct condition two integer arguments and one character argument yes it computes the product of the integer argument if ch is p else it adds the integers product if ch is p otherwise it adds theek hai na so um if ch is equal to equal to single quote p system dot out dot print ln prod product is plus a into b else system dot out dot they have said that suppose agar uh, p na ho to you have to do the sum is plus a plus b right you are done with your second function as well third function mein kya hai again void num calc string s1 comma string s2 kya bola hai string s1 comma string s2 with two string arguments which prints whether the strings are equal or not right then if s1 dot equals s2 system dot out dot print ln strings are equal strings are equal you don't need to print anything so directly close else system dot out dot print ln strings are not equal so it may seem very tiring to all the time keep writing system dot out dot print ln and all that but actually it's something so simple we know it's simple syntax you need to write at every step and it's easy 15 marks you can actually score so once we are done with this abhi sare functions ko call karna so public static void main first we create an object of the class so overload 
obj as usual is equal to new overload close see bhul gayi semicolon then obj dot num underscore calc for the first function what were the parameters it was one number and one character so i'll say i put two comma s right obj dot num calc two numbers and one character i put three comma five comma t right then obj dot num calc i put teju comma teju again right i've closed the method i've closed the class now i compiled new syntax errors again it comes with practice that you ensure you don't miss out on any colon any bracket you get you are free from syntax errors one thing i want to also uh, add to this is that uh, many of you may be thinking that you know um, in the if else statements uh, if ch is equal to p you can have another variable in which you say okay fine um uh, count is equal to a into b and then in the next statement you say product is plus count here i have just put everything in just one statement that's why these brackets suppose i remove these brackets what actually happens is that suppose i have entered the a and b as 2 and 3 if i remove the brackets i have given here it is just say 2 Three. That's why those brackets, so that it is told that the sum has to be done, and that sum has to be printed. So now there's no syntax errors. I'm going to close this and um run this void main. Square is four, sum is eight, and strings are equal. I had um inputted in the first method two and uh, p. Since uh, the character is p, we had to do the square, and therefore I got the output as four. Then in the next input, I had inputted the two values. I think three and five, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it, um, it was that if the character is not um, the one given, I input the character as t because of which the sum of the integers had to be done, and the sum is eight. And in the third one, the two strings I had input as teju and teju. because of which the strings are equal is what i've got i have actually got my output such a similar question is what will actually come in your exam and it's an easy 15 marks i hope um you find it as easy as i'm finding it uh, right now and um, if you have any doubts uh, regarding the two concepts i have discussed in this particular video feel free to comment below and uh, we will be covering other important concepts in the further videos um, we'll be covering arrays uh, there are these certain specific concepts which actually um, um come in your 15 mark section in your programming session and if you actually ace that section it is possible to get a 100 on 100 in computer applications i gave my board exams in 2019 and uh, i was able to score a 100 on 100 and what i want to tell you is that it is possible it is easy practice is all you need thank you so much for watching